Hey guys, just want to plug in a quick video here on a 2 liter Subaru engine I'm working on. Picked it up, 500 bucks. That's only got 43,000 miles on it. And I ran across an issue that's pretty common with these. These guys. These guys. They're on there like nobody's business. So I did a little bit of you know, YouTube and forums, stuff like that, try to figure out how to get them off. A lot of people are using those special tools that go around this stuff to hold them in place so they can pop them loose. Some people drill them. Another guy I watched a video had those reversible, look like sockets, but they got those grippers in them. So they just hit it and grip and then pop. Well, I figured out a way, and I've already done this side. I'm doing a head gasket job and head studs just because... These things are notorious for blowing head gaskets. So I'm going to show you what I did. Hopefully it works. Again, we'll see. Well, let me see if I can get this camera set up first of all. Yeah. Actually, I'll go back in. Ooh. Oh, boy. This is what I've done. Bought one of these from AutoZone. It's a Duralast 10 millimeter. I actually got the whole set. I tried that first and I just felt like I was going to shatter this to pieces. Obviously, I bent it because this is not staying in there anymore. So, what I did is if I can find it, 10 millimeter impact socket. Slid that dude in there. Took my Milwaukee crazy impact. This is like one of the, not the highest one you can get, but it's, it puts down some serious torque, to say the least, as they call it, nut busting. But in this case, we're doing a bolt. So, get that in there. Cresson. Worked on the other side. No guarantee it works on this side. So I just took it and held it and boom. Shaka laka laka boom. Because there's these basically, I'll show them in a second here. There's this hex size moldings on the camshafts that you can run that wrench on. Booyah! And then no drilling, no heat, no torch, none of that business. No special tool to hold this. And you can reuse it. So as for what I'm locking onto here, and you've probably already seen this if you got your head apart, so. Just fit that dude in there. Yeah, something like that. Just hang on. Hang on for dear life. And then you can hold that again when you go to torque these on. I torque them about 70 something pounds. And we're good to go. So, uh, quick tip on that. Just some of the reading is just kind of a big problem getting those things off. But that's how I got them off. You might know a better way, but works for me. Biggest problem might be the impact wrench. I don't know if you get maybe a bower or something like that that might put out enough torque. That one I've got is kind of expensive, but it, it lays down the torque, but easy way. All right, thanks.